Cincinnati, near the senior citizen here, here Greens, Greens boys, boys and girls, and welcome, welcome to this another brand new day. I'm not going to say what day it is because, you know, you may be watching this on another day. In fact, quite likely you will be. So, thumbs up. Hopefully your day has been a good one. Anyway, though, for the day that it is, which now I'm going to say it is Tuesday, the 19th of January, uh, 2021. Thumbs up for that. Uh, last night, for the weather report, <laughs> last night it was not raining. It was dry, so I went for a short walk, not a long one, just around downtown Chelton and then back. I stopped off at Safeway and I bought two sodas and two yogurts. So I'll hopefully talk more about my anorexia in just a moment. But it was a nice night. It wasn't raining. It's not raining now. It's dark. So thumbs up on that. Plague Rat Report, the people that I saw were wearing their masks. Uh, my anxieties were... Not intensely high, but I went up late and so I wasn't paying attention to people because I was like tucked into my own ball. And so the people that I did see were at least wearing masks partially. So that's good. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Hopefully people are wearing masks where you are. So thumbs up on that. Wherever that happens to be, my audience is primarily United States citizens. But when I say primarily, that's there's still a large chunk you know the majority is here but there's still a large chunk of people from outside of the united states and thank you all so very much each and every one of you that watches it is greatly greatly appreciated definitely a thumbs up on that so first off last night i went to bed late it was after 10 o'clock because i got back late from my walkies and i wanted to do some stuff and i had to tank up on thc i have slept so poorly these last couple i wanted to be able to sleep i slept mostly i woke up late ish but i woke up from pain early i didn't want to get up at four o'clock in the morning so I just flip-flopped back and forth as best I could. My shoulders hurt so much. My hip hurt so much. I couldn't stay on my, my right side, so I was on my left. Which is so weird because for years I could only sleep on my left. And I could not sit at sleep on my right because it hurt so much. I decided I'm going to push and then make it so I can sleep on my right side again. Now my body just wants to sleep on my right. And I sleep on my left and it feels vaguely unsatisfying. So, I don't understand my, my body, yay. <laughs> but at least I was able to sleep, and I did that. I wore the t-shirt that I'd worn during the day, during the night, but I kept it pulled up around my shoulders for the first half of the night, just a sheet. Second half of the night, pulled it down, and then third part of the night, not halves, you know, thirds, I brought that fleecy thing over and yeah I was too cold toward the end of the night but almost warm not too warm thumbs up for that now of course after successfully avoiding my legs cramping while being up on my bed I quickly after dressing the lower half of my body putting on my socks bring up my underwear and my regular street pants up as far as they could go I wait till I'm standing up to get them all the way pulled up because I hope he smokes. But I quickly swing my feet off the bed, tuck them into my shoes, and then immediately my feet and lower calves cramped up hard. So I had to prop myself forward on my cramped up foot and my weight, all my weight, just on that one foot. And it went, oh, right. And then relaxed and I was able to get into my shoe. That sort of cramping is awful but it's not incredibly painful it's those muscles become just hard as wood but it doesn't really hurt it's just i can't do anything with that and so it's like what I, I just say there i have to put my entire weight on it before it'll let go Ugh. so thumbs up on that talking about weight i i I talk with Russian timing on Facebook Messenger and such, and one of the things that we've been talking about is he knows how to, to cook food, and that's good. If cooking food is good, I basically microwave. I can cook. I choose not to because it's just a lot of work. 
And so I just basically microwave that sort of thing. Try to remember my story. Oh no, it was about, oh yes, I remembered now, thank God. <laughs> but I had talked about before how I had forgotten and I was eating two meals per day instead of one meal and then mild grazing. And so I have been putting on weight. And I had suffered from anorexia before. After the death of my wife and then the first year of her death, I got incredibly sick. So sick that for a, over a month, I literally could not eat. If I tried to eat, <clears throat> it came up. My glands in my neck were as big as marbles and I could not eat. In fact, half the time when I drank water, everything came back up. If I hadn't been as heavy as I had been, I am not sure I would have survived this because I went from 325 pounds to 160 when I was done. And I spent the next couple years between 160 and 200. I'd jump up close to 200, get scared, and then drop down to like 170. And then I've slowly inched up around 190 is where my weight has been. Well, ever since quarantine stuff, I'd forgotten how that I've been eating and my weight has jumped up over 200. Semi-recently, 215. <clears throat> One of the things that helped keep my weight down was anorexia where I just I'm anorexic at times and it seems that at least a good part of that has turned back on because before when I got you know like two weeks ago if I got hungry it would it would be a bad feeling a not good feeling terrible I could feel that dagger in my stomach and it was just that's all I could think about because it hurt and I was hungry now when I get hunger pangs, that's like a little click that goes reward in my head. And that's really bad because hunger pains should not be looked upon as a reward. But that's what I've got going on right now. Yesterday, after eating some mild grazing of potato chips in the morning, past the mild grazing, I had two containers of yogurt. Previously, I had had mild grazing and four containers of yogurt during the day. So yesterday, I had mild grazing and about 300 calories. And I don't feel hungry now. I don't have a lot of the mental stuff you know, to make you feel bad, and so you're anorexic because of this stuff going on. But yeah, that hunger pains is a reward tick, and my hunger has largely just been flicked off with a switch. And that's not healthy. So what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping, is that I can ride this train until I'm down to about 190 and then hopefully be able to flick the anorexia off again because I need to eat periodically I mean right now I need to make my body eat itself because my fat deposits are too much I don't like being at 205 which is what I'm at right now which is a lot so thumbs up on that Anyway, though, let me see what else we have here. <coughs> really quick, I'm still working on this one story that I talked about probably two years ago now. Bruno Mars did the story Uptown Story, did the song Uptown Funk. There is a type of mashup remix out there where they swap the second and fourth beat. Now, they may keep the primary music of the background the same, but everything that's mid-music and vocals gets chopped and swapped. And so they also have CC, you know, closed caption for the song as well, but they did Uptown Funk and then they work it all out. And I don't know how the song does this as lyrics because in no part of the actual song do they talk about Saturday night in the spider weed. 
but when you swap the second and fourth beats in the chorus of the lyrics, especially this one part, it goes, Saturday night in the spider weed. And when you're doing the CCs on this one point and reading along with it, it goes, Saturday night gunshot in the spider weed. And yeah, there's a gunshot. And it becomes a new frickin' song because of this. There is no Saturday Night in the Spider Weed in the main Uptown Funk song. How swapping those syllables creates those words is amazing. But because of that, I had come up with a story, and I'm still working on it. It's still, it fits in perfectly with the cosmic horror pantheon and framework that I've set up because beforehand it was just an event has occurred <clears throat> around an area of about three or four smaller towns there is an area where no one can contact the outer world anymore you go far enough and you can't come back nobody in these areas ever sees you again so they're cut off you can't come back if you leave nobody knows what happens if you leave for for them it's like the rest of the world is gone. And so they're trying to survive in this area. <clears throat> but of course something else has happened because things aren't growing the way they should. Children aren't being conceived and born. Plants are growing but not really well. And so they're not growing. They're just slowly dwindling. And in one part of this area, in this old abandoned farm area, there's this stuff, spider weed, where literally it looks like spiders. It's gigantic web-like vines and these large vegetable arachnids. They don't move fast, they don't attack anything, but they wander on their gigantic webs. They're gigantic vegetable things and they move around on these gigantic webs. And I'm sorry, I'm hissing around my dentures. And so, the two main characters of this, they're, they're, they want to leave. Well, the one wants to leave and he's ready to go. He's just ready to walk out of the town area and just see what's outside. If he dies, he dies. If he doesn't, he finds out what's out there. But he and his friend, <clears throat> after being told to stay out of the spider weed, instead of just leaving, head up to that abandoned farm. They push through. That's heavy duty. When they get up there, they sort of discover at least something. There was a large power plant in that area, and the power plant is just gone. There's a large hole where the power plant used to be. And hovering in the air, you can't see it from one side, is like a portal. Because there's just all these vines coming out of the air ending at a terminus where you just walk to the back side and you can see the back side of this vegetable stuff because it's coming through here and into our world and it's spider weed vines what's on the other side they don't know now i've not worked out the total end on this but i've still got parts where they discovered that they're really the only living things. There's insect life, there's plant life, but they find skeletons everywhere. And the closer they get to this inner part of it, the more skeletons there are. When they get to the area where it is, where the power plant used to be, the pit is just filled with half decayed skeletons. Well, half will fill to skeletons, a half of them half decayed, the ones on the top, very very fresh they also find somebody who had been in the village uh, well their skeletal remains because they had wandered there sat down and just died so these two they don't know why this is happening they don't know what's happening and i'm not quite sure where to go from there yet so we shall see i do have some other stories that i wanted to talk about but i kind of got wrapped up in this right here so it's at the point where i've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab <clears throat> 
and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, ADHD, grieving, and more, I'm sometimes not I can remember what my own name is. I have forgotten. Okay, we have Cool Penguin, thumbs up and thank you. We have Someone Irrelevant 14, I like the name. 2KR Gaming, greatly appreciated. Hummus Rules, okay, greatly appreciated. Water Beats Gaming, thumbs up. Confused Owl 29, always good to see you in the comments. And yeah, being a chosen one would suck. Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. And Hokey Smoke, and always good to see you in the comments. And Made in Canada, yes, it has been a time since I've seen you in the comments. Miss you, I miss everybody. Whenever I get to know a name and then they vanish or slow down, it's, it's painful. Terry, thumbs up and thank you. Gene Swain, greatly appreciated. SJL Darkness, thumbs up and thank you. Shane, greatly appreciated. Lemarac C, thumbs up, thank you very much. Nemactomation, greatly appreciate. Colin Reisnauer, thumbs up. Zaxio, thumbs up and thank you so much. Aurelio Salam, thank you. And then we have Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciate. Ricky Bettini, thumbs up and thank you. We have Kapaki, Good to see you in the comments. Vito Vagito, thumbs up. There is Not My Name, Not My Name, also known as Ali Shabiri. Good to see you in the comments and hope to see you much more often. And then there is E.E., e., thumbs up and thank you. Ice Damon, always good to see you in the comments. And Taylor Whimsy, greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. And that is a very good thing. I thank each and every one of you, everyone that I could not get to thanking. Thank you very, very much. Now let's see if I can remember how the rest of this goes. If you could check out the rest of my links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my Patreon.com patronage, that would be very, very cool, just like one of these beautiful and awesome people. And if you'd like to help me out financially without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. If you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. With things like cat food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be awesome. I do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. And I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool and greatly appreciated as well. A definite thumbs up. <coughs> Hope you smokes my voice box. I, I went and smoked some bud again today. My voice box doesn't like bud. The rest of me does, but my voice box doesn't. <laughs> And, of course, the lobster hat-wearing duck head of judgment suffers from a surplus of scorn. It is ready, not eager, but ready to cast that scorn upon any and all it finds disappointing. Its mockery is severe. Do not disappoint the lobster hat-wearing duck head of judgment. It suffers from a surplus of scorn. See, I can remember it sometimes, just not all the time. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. And of course, black lives matter. Yes, all lives matter. But right now, black lives are in crisis. As soon as the crisis is over, all lives matter. But until then, we got to put out the fire on this house before we take care of the houses that aren't burning. And... Justice for everybody, the jackbooted, how, how can we get it? Where is my finger go? There we are. Justice for everybody, the jackbooted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs and police uniforms who keep beating, brutalizing, and murdering American citizens in their homes and on the streets. Joy. So I have this video right here. I've got the second half of a video to edit and render and then upload thumbs up for that so i got stuff to keep me busy that's a good thing right there <coughs> good golly miss Polly. so thumbs up on that anyway though please wear a mask wash your hands try not to touch your face try not to go out it's painful i know 
And if you have to go out, please practice your social distancing. You really, really, really don't want this. It, it sucks. It's bad. Don't get sick. The risk of being game-ended is higher than you think. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a good thing. Be as creative as you can. And...